Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. On June 27th, 2011, CM Punk cut a now legendary promo on Monday Night Raw. It was a promo that echoed a lot of fans' frustrations with the WWE and Vince McMahon, and also had a lot of people asking whether it was a promo or a shoot, or something in between. I'm Luke Owen, I am, I've got the hat to prove it and you can't take that away, and was CM Punk's pipe bomb promo a shoot? The June 27th edition of Monday Night Raw saw a main event of R-Truth versus John Cena in a tables match. But as Cena tried to AA R-Truth through a table, CM Punk ran out from the back in a Stone Cold Steve Austin t-shirt and interfered, which allowed Truth to score a win over the WWE Champion. Punk then walks back up the ramp, sits down and cuts the now famous pipe bomb promo. A promo which insulted Vince McMahon, Stephanie McMahon, Triple H, John Laurinaitis, John Cena, and more. He name-dropped Ring of Honor and New Japan Pro Wrestling, a big no-no in WWE. He name-dropped Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman, names who wouldn't return to WWE for another year. He took a pot shot at the main event of the following WrestleMania. He broke the fourth wall and spoke to Colt Cabana. He said the word wrestler. And he even spoke about the notion of Vince McMahon dying. I don't know anyone who'd do that. And what would happen to the company if that did happen? As he starts to tell a personal story about Vince McMahon and be a star, CM Punk's microphone is cut and then it goes off the air. In storyline, Punk was suspended the following day by WWE who then posted on their website, Raw's abrupt conclusion Monday night was not due to technical difficulties. The decision to suddenly end the broadcast in the manner was made by WWE Chairman and CEO Vince McMahon who gave this quote to WWE.com. CM Punk was suspended indefinitely for his unprofessional conduct as soon as Raw went off the air. In the WWE produced documentary Best in the World, CM Punk said that the 27th of June Raw episode was his second to last taping and he was feeling jubilant. A mood which only improved when a writer approached him and said he was being given a live microphone with which to air his grievances. An entire WWE career of frustration being just let out, not just mine, every diva and superstar in the back, every person who was released unjustly, I think everyone who has ever worked here has felt frustration. It had been reported that Punk's contract was becoming due on the night of Money in the Bank and that this was going to be used as part of the storyline. Dave Meltzer wrote in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Punk's contract actually expires a few days before the pay-per-view, but signed an agreement to stay on through Money in the Bank, where things stand on Punk's negotiations are being kept very close to the vest. WWE creative has been told Punk finishes up after Money in the Bank. Those with knowledge of the situation said that he has not signed a new deal, but that they are in negotiations for a new deal. Punk confirmed this in the Best in the World documentary, saying he only signed the extension for Money in the Bank so long as he was in the main event. In an interview with Mark Maron, before Punk left the company in 2014, he again stressed that the promo was a shoot, saying it was the most dangerous attitude to have. I don't give a f what are they going to do? Fire me? I'm not re-signing. He also added that Vince McMahon showed him more respect for it afterwards, saying, Vince is the kind of guy who lives by the law of the jungle. Only the strong survive, and the lion is the king of the jungle. It's weird, but that's who that guy is. If you're a p he doesn't got time for you. He'll walk all over you. The promo caught a lot of attention from across the wrestling world, with veterans such as Steve Austin, Mick Foley, X-Pac and JBL all praising Punk's work. But only a handful of people actually believe that Punk cut a real shoot promo. Dave Meltzer wrote in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter that some parts of the promo were designed to promote money in the bank and also tease WWE returns. One person noted that the mention of every name, Colt Cabana, Heyman and Lesnar, all play into different current talks. Apparently he recently asked for Cabana, his longtime best friend, to get a main roster position as one of his deal points to return. Heyman and Lesnar have either made a deal or at least in very serious negotiations to have a business relationship with WWE. In the end, the general consensus seems to be that Punk's promo wasn't a work or a shoot, but something in between. Similar to Joey Styles' promo on Raw and John Cena's promo on Roman Reigns in 2017, it seems that Punk's pipe bomb was a worked shoot. Dave Meltzer said on Twitter that Punk scripted out the whole thing from his own mind, that he got some parts of it signed off by WWE Creative and Vince McMahon. Wade Keller wrote in the Pro Wrestling Torch, if the Thrasonical Punk was really shooting, he could have made fun of Cena's punches looking fake. He could have said WWE is so bad that fans should watch TNA Impact on Spike TV instead. He could 
have said one of these weeks will show up at the impact zone. Punk not bringing up TNA was a red flag for some people that this wasn't a full shoot. Dave Meltzer wrote in the Wrestling Observer newsletter that the only thing seemingly off limits was any mention of TNA. On his Something to Wrestle podcast, Bruce Pritchard claimed that 100% of the promo was a work. WWE's Triple H noted in an interview with Grantland that if the pipe bomb was a real shoot, it wouldn't have been on the air. He said, so let me get this straight, you think we put him on TV? He broke f everything we were supposed to do and then sat down Indian style and started blistering everybody and we don't think let's take him off the air if that would have been a shoot it would have been off the air the second he started we've got other WWE backstage expose videos here on WrestleTalk so click the playlist to the left subscribe to this channel and support us on Patreon for exclusive podcast content I've been Luke Owen I'll continue to be Luke Owen until I'm found out and that was wrestling